Hi, my name is Ash. Let's talk Dragon Age. If you haven't seen the latest Last Hope trailer from Bioware, please for the love of Maker pause this video and watch the newly released video at youtube.com slash dragonageofficial. Don't worry, I'll wait. Done? Awesome. Bioware released their latest trailer, coinciding with the newly remodeled website dragonage.com, which offers new information on classes, characters, specializations, history, and so much more. Magdara explains the origins of the Inquisitor as such, the lone survivor of the magical explosion that creates the breach, the massive hole in the sky at the heart of the trouble. As the Inquisitor, you must decide the paths the Inquisition will take, judge who is guilty or innocent, and pursue the goals you deem essential. It's your choice how you want to save or possibly ruin Thetis. As far as the details beyond story, I'll put it into short form for you here. The faces of the entire family of the Inquisition has been revealed. Some we know by name and some are left to be discovered. Of course, they will be revealed during each Followers Friday. Not all of those present will be permanent companions, but we have a guaranteed list of nine confirmed companions from this lineup. From left to right, Colin, Vivienne, Varric Tethris, an unknown blonde male, possibly rogue with the two uniquely shaped daggers on his back, Solas, Cassandra Pendergast, the Inquisitor, the Iron Bull, an unknown male, Liliana, Sarah, an unknown female, and the unknown Grey Warden. Four character profiles for Varric, Cassandra, Vivienne, and Morrigan are presented, but the most interesting one is Morrigan's. As mentioned, whispers carry concern of Morrigan having Selene wrapped around her finger, teaching the Empress forbidden dark arts in secret. As illustrated in The Masked Empire, the division between Empress Selene and the Grand Duke of Spa de Chalon is still great and Orle is still trapped in civil war. The Illuvians will play a great matter in power, especially with Briella's story and Morgan's experience opening the portals. If interested in reading events prior to Inquisition, I highly suggest reading The Masked Empire by Patrick Weeks, with a link to buy the book in the description. The following are each class's specializations. For warriors, Champion, Templar, and Reaver. For Mages, Knight Enchanter, Rift, and Necromancer. And for Rogues, Artificer, Assassin, and Tempest. Let us not delay further, for we have a trailer to analyze. Observations are not guaranteed to be correct, but let's say that you'll find more answers than a old hag who talks too much. We've seen this before. Corpses burning and the dead green tint shadowed by the tear in the sky. The fire is above. What we see is the Inquisitor clad in intricate armor, judging by the design of his hood and the barely touched chainmail donned on his chest. Cassandra says he walked out of the Fade as the sole survivor, with a barely shown yellow flag in the distance and the green light emitting from the top of the mountain. The blast killed thousands, but left the Inquisitor alive with veil magic. They stand before a keep with red banners. Spiders, where the Inquisitor is wearing a mix of leather and metal as he wields lightning magic. It's a simple camp, but with man-made or elven-made architecture in the background where a light fixture has veiled fire. Blue crystals surround a path, where we've seen this location before near the dwarven statue at the water. The magic spell has a particular elven seal and writing similar to what we've been hinted at on the old Dragon Age Keep website. A female dragon terrorizing a man-made structure, shifting to the Inquisitor throwing up an AoE Reign of Fire spell, and then a Venatory warrior with a Tevinter crest emblem, the two serpents, on his armor. Liliana returns, older and in front of a room with the Inquisition flag, visibly showing her allegiance. The same setting we saw against the mountains in the concept art, the many-armed creature that floated in the early release in-game screenshot, the one-eyed troll mammoth creature from the environment trailer we saw previously, in a daily structure and other portions we have seen before. And then we're brought back to the deserted Dwarven Beach where what seems to be a humanoid is attacking the Inquisitor. However, that's either really dark armor or rock armor. And then we see the Grey Warden Keep from the Fires Above trailer burning it under siege with behemoths from the Red Templar faction. The Inquisitor running with both the Grey Warden and the Archer that are still nameless. A frozen, unkempt sanctuary with red lyrium at its center, deliberately presented at the core. And then we see an underground camp that we've seen in the concept art. And the forest, where the character is peacefully making contact with the troll. It may have a level of sentience beyond its confrontational demeanor that we saw previously in the trailer. 
a seemingly cold, desolate city with its Andrastian chantry statues still intact. Then another dragon in a snowy landscape with man-made structures and large statues on both sides. Possibly something we've seen from another trailer. Chester, I don't know what to tell you. The nine-eyed demon we've seen before, now in the Fade. You can see the flora and deep mushroom the same as the environment from the World of Thetis trailer. And a pride demon casting its purple whip magic. A rogue inquisitor dashing to fight a venatory brute with stranger man-made statues lit up in the distance. I say strange because of the dilapidated form of the building, similar to what we see in the Fade. And then we see a desert where the warrior inquisitor rides his stallion, the inquisitor deliberately closing the veil breach by raising his left hand. Then we see the Grey Wardens, as made obvious by the winged helmets and the Warden regalia, being attacked by the Inquisition, also made evident by the sun and sword emblem on the pursuing army's armor. The same setting we saw at the first release trailer at E3. Then the keep falls, but something particular is the red gold banner in the distance, possibly Orlay, the Coterie? We don't know why the Inquisition is attacking, but it's possible they may be harboring someone or a selection of people. The Inquisitor holding out his hand. Specifically his left, which asks the question whether his veil power is purely in his left hand, his right hand, or both, as the box cover art actually has his right hand going up. And at the end, the Inquisitor's base of planning, the trebuchet, sword, cheese, mug, books, journals, and the Inquisition we will come to know very soon. The game releases October 7th this year. You can pre-order your copy of the digital, deluxe, or standard versions on Origin, giving you all the things listed on screen. Hala and Bog Unicorn mounts, a customized throne for the Inquisitor, the Flames of the Inquisition gear that comes with weapons and armor for all classes, plus an armored horse, and a copy of the digital soundtrack with other digital content to be had. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you like. If you're new, hello, let me properly introduce myself. I am Lady Insanity, but you may call me Ash. I administer tons of Dragon Age lore to enrich your mind, up-to-date news and breakdowns to keep you always well informed, and other goodness and knowledge to fill your soul. October 7th is coming soon, and we still have E3, PAX Prime, and other events and dead drops to attend to. But never worry, for I will be there as your humble guide. Again, thank you for watching. Take care, and I will see you next time.